Hey, how's it going folks and welcome back. There have been a few changes to the channel recently, along with the profile photo, banner and name. All future videos will be with my own voice instead of the AI one. Please be patient with me as I improve since English is not my first language and it will probably take me some time to get the hang of voice commentaries and pronunciation. Also, please make sure to check out the poll I made recently, links down below. At the end of the month, I'll count the votes and start the new series. I'll also post new content along with the War Thunder series and it will probably be hardcore vegan playthrough of Subnautica or hardcore randomized Fallout New Vegas. I got some amazing suggestions in the comments recently and these were really helpful. I already made the changes and you'll see them in the newer videos. So thanks to everyone who posts a suggestion, I read and respond to each and every comment and each suggestion is highly appreciated. My mistake here is not keeping the radar locked on the plane. I just didn't want to chase after it and fly high. Of the same folks. Yeah, I think I bragged too soon about the aim. In today's playing card, we'll be covering the UK's F4J Phantom. This information has been taken from the wiki at the time of the recording of this video. The F4J Phantom does not come with an offensive armament, so flight performance will always be below average. As with all F4s, sharp turns will quickly deplete your energy and speed. 
made worse by the lack of maneuvering speed, the F4J will lose speed in every turn at any speed. The F4J is a heavy plane and it will take an unacceptable amount of time to dodge missiles and regain its speed so it can dodge another. The AN APG-59 radar is a very average pulse doppler radar, so nothing will probably do a trick in terms of missile evasion. The main concern when fighting this plane is head-on battles. Check out this god awful attempt at a landing, folks. Hey, you made it to the end, my G! Please consider leaving a like if you enjoyed this series so far. Subscribe to be in the loop about new videos, and as always, comments with any tips on how to improve are always appreciated. See you all next time.